Sarah from the upcoming, lovely to meet you. So what can you tell us about your character, Peter Townsend, in this, in this next season? Um, my character is, uh, is abroad, he's an exile in Brussels. And this season just shows how Peter Townsend deals with being apart from Margaret and how Margaret deals with being apart from, from Townsend. It's a really, that, that story is about how people pick themselves up after great heartbreak and tragedy and get on with their lives. Um, so I'm delighted to be back in season two. Yeah, I really am. And it's such an incredible uh, cast you've got there on such a grand scale. What was it like working with all these these brilliant actors? It's a dream job. The whole thing was just a dream job. It's, it was a delight to turn up every day and, and work with such great actors and great directors and great producers and great costumiers and great makeup artists, great photographers, wonderful. Everybody was just was just great. I made new friends. I rekindled old friendships. It's the first time I worked with Jared Harris, who played King George, in about 25 years. So it was fantastic to kind of, you know, just see him and and realize again what a great actor he is. Uh, the whole job was just was just great. I loved it. It's very much a, a period drama focusing on British history. What what do you think its appeal is, both for people here in the UK and internationally? I think it. The royal family is a really rich topic. It has a kind of mythical status. <clears throat> it is a sort of fairy tale, but at the same time, it's real people living real lives. I mean, the wonderful thing about this drama is it's all real. It's all based on real events. And there's so much that isn't in this show that could have been in the show had we time to write it and shoot it. Um, <clears throat> it's just a... It's a fascinating subject for people all over the world, I think, you know, for people in the UK and England who've, who've grown up with this royal family thing, it, it, it means one thing, but to people all around the world it means another. It means so much to so many people. I think that's why it's such a global hit. But I think the key to it is you see human beings in extraordinary situations trying to deal with monumental events. I think that's, I think that's the key to it. And for season two, what can existing fans look forward to and what do you think is going to be there for, for new fans to get drawn to? Well, I think the end of the old guard, I think it's, it's, we've got rock and roll, we've got the Beatles, we've got the swinging 60s, we've got the beginning of liberalism, we've got that whole kind of generation of youth just sweeping through the English establishment and blowing them out of the way. I think, I think it's going to be fascinating to, to, to see how the royals and the establishment deal with that movement. Now that's chiefly what season two is about. Fantastic, we're lovely to meet you. Thanks so much.